Hi everyone, I'm Smita, I blog at smilingcolors.com and today I'm recycling some cereal box and used envelopes to make these cute little notepads. Things you'll need to gather, a paper trimmer, a pair of scissors, an empty cereal box or some kind of thin cardboard, some sheets of paper, you can use any kind of paper of your choice, I'm using basic printer paper today. You can also cut up envelopes from the junk mail you receive in the post, some binder clips and glue to glue everything together, a nice clear glue. I'm using the Tombow Mana Aqua liquid glue here. Now let's start cutting. I have a bunch of papers and to cut them all the same size, I just place the whole stack of papers into my trimmer and while holding the paper in place with my left hand, I run the cutting blade back and forth a couple of times with my other hand. This makes sure that all of the papers are relatively same in size. I'm trimming my paper into 4 by 4.25 inch rectangles today. You can make these notepads any size that you would like. Once I have a nice stack of paper ready, I keep them all together with a single binder clip for now. Next, using the paper trimmer, I'm trimming my recycled cereal box down. I need to cut a rectangle the same size as the papers, that is 4 by 4.25 inches. This will act as the base of our notepad and give the notepad a little bit of stability. Now we need to place the papers on top of the cardboard and hold everything in place securely using a few binder clips. And then along the top smooth edge, liberally apply a coat of glue. I'm applying the glue slowly to ensure that all of the sheets of paper get some of the glue to hold in place. And now we're putting it aside to let it dry for about an hour or so. With the recycled envelopes, I cut them all down to a narrower size, I think it's about 2.5 to 3 inches wide. I cut out the sides with the scissors and then repeated this till I had a stack of sheets. I then similarly trimmed a piece of the recycled cereal box to size and then put everything together with a few binder clips. Then I'm going to go over the edge with the liquid glue again. To dry these I actually put them on the edge of my countertop with the glued edge hanging off the counter just a little. For the thicker notepad, after about 15 minutes of drying, I noticed that the paper was warping and forming little waves. So what I did was I moved the binder clips onto the glued edge, making sure that the binder clips didn't actually touch the glue by giving a small gap there. After about an hour, the glue is dry to touch and you can remove the binder clips and you should have a cute notepad ready. You can cover or decorate the cereal box you use if you wish. I thought it was cute to have this as a cereal box as is. Now the little notepad is ready for you to write your list onto and carry around in your purse or whatever else you choose to use it for. Thanks for watching this video. Hit subscribe if you don't want to miss future videos and click on the little eye icon on the top right corner here to see a playlist of my videos in which I make or alter books. Have a great day. Bye bye.